Sidgy, come here. <laughs> come over here. What's going on guys? You are here with Troy Brooks, Lululemon New York City Ambassador for the Lululemon and Strava Move and Stay Connected Challenge. Now today we're gonna get into a nice lower body workout. So hope you're ready to get that lower body burning and on fire and feeling good about it. All right, stay tuned, peace. So we're starting that warm up. Gonna be here for about four minutes. My favorite move to do is an inchworm, initiating this movement through the hips, getting a nice stretch in your hamstrings, your glutes, your lower back. So we start with our feet hip width apart. Try not to bend your knees that much, hinging through the hips, walking out to a nice high plank. Right from here, we walk back, we reach those arms up. We're gonna be here for 20 seconds. You're feeling spicy, throw a squat in the mix. We're gonna hold that high plank. In three, two, one. Left foot comes outside that left hand. We're gonna go into that spinal rotation. If you need a little bit more range of motion here, feel free to bend the back knee. Opening up that T-spine. We're gonna go right here, alternating toe touch. High plank position. Piking those hips back. Try not to bend the knees. We're gonna walk it back. Right into those air squats in three, two, one. Nice. You feeling spicy? Give a little jump squat. Once you're done with those jump squats or air squats, we're gonna turn this way using our mat going right into that lateral lunge. Knee stay forward, driving out here. Remember, the knee dictates the position of the toe and the hip. So we're gonna keep that straight, we're gonna drive out. We're gonna finish up with a good morning, right? So similar to that inchworm, start with those feet hip width apart. Squeeze the glutes. Think about pushing your butt back towards the back of the room. You can put your hands on your hips. So we're just running through that warm up two times through, 20 seconds, Per movement, it's about four minutes on the clock. I'm joking. All right, first move that we got coming up is gonna be that air squat. Knees hip width apart, chest up. Keeping tension on that band. If you don't have the band, don't worry. You're still adding tension in that squat. We're gonna take about a 15 second break, AKA kind of just a transition time into that second movement. We're gonna get into that single leg deadlift. So you can do this with your band or without your band. We're gonna be there for exactly 30 seconds. Then we're gonna switch outside. We're gonna start with those feet hip width apart, shoulders and hips pointed at the floor. We're gonna drive here and then drive it back, nice and controlled. Tucking the chin on the way down, hand comes out for stability. If you wanna build a nice tight fist, once you're done, shake it off and we're gonna take it right back to the top, all right? So this is basically a set. First move, the air squat. Second move is gonna be that single leg deadlift, three to four rounds. Round two, we're gonna go lateral lunge. We did it in our warm up. We're gonna be here for exactly 30 seconds on the right, 30 seconds on the left. Toes to stay forward. Drive into that nice lateral squat. Make sure you're not leaning too far forward. You're not over arching your back. Think about trying to keep your shoulders over your hips. This way you really feel that activation in the glutes. Toes are forward. Second movement in this set, we're gonna get into that single leg hip thrust. Again, focusing on the back side of the body now. We're gonna go here. Nice controlled position. Pay attention to what I'm doing. I'm gonna drive my left foot into the floor. Make sure my back is flat. From here, I'm gonna put this tension on pressing my knee into my hand and pressing my hand into my knee. 30 seconds on the right, 30 seconds on the left. We're gonna drive up. Woo! Aye! So we're gonna run through that. Three rounds. 30 seconds on the right side, 30 seconds on the left. 15 seconds in between both movements as far as your rest. Aim for about three to four rounds depending on how much time you have. After that, you're done, and then I'm gonna give you a little bonus finisher. What's up, Seiji? You coming in? You coming in Daddy's video? All right, guys, so we're gonna give you a nice little spicy finisher. This is Sage Approved. So the first thing we're gonna do, basically it's gonna be an AMRAP. That stands for as many rounds as possible, all right? The time is going to be three minutes on the clock. We're gonna start with a 20 second squat hold. So you can just hold that squat for 20 seconds here. Once you're done with that squat hold, you're gonna give me 10 air squats or 10 squat jumps. 
After that, you're gonna go right into five plyo lunges. So that's one, two, three. Nice, till you get them. Once you're done, shake it off. Now, if you get this done and your minute's up and there's no time left, guess what? You're going right into the next minute. At the end of the day, you're only here for three minutes on the clock. Let's have some fun. Let's get this done. Peace. I just talked too long. Um, we're gonna do that one more time. All right. 